she got out of that store. Uh, title of this video is Travel Update. Okay, I'm gonna generalize this video for everybody. Okay, la di da di everybody, whether you, you live in Asia, whether you live here in uh, America, here in the States, whether you live in Europe, continental Russia, doesn't matter where you live, okay, I'm gonna generalize this so you can apply these uh, principles I'm about to tell you in your travel. If you're, if you're still trying to travel, okay, I'm not telling you not to travel, but what I'm saying is, okay, uh, the whole world is locked down right now, so you're, you may not be able to enjoy your stay, okay, especially if you're going to Southeast Asia, if you're going to Thailand, the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Bali, you know, um, those uh, scenic uh, places. You're gonna be, you're gonna be in lockdown and it's way more strict over there in Thailand and the Philippines and you know, basically in Southeast Asia than here, here in the States, okay? In the Philippines, they're actually uh, doing the lockdown at uh, 5 p.m. in the barrios. Right, the 5, 5 p.m. and then some, some barrios and you know provinces in the cities I'm not too sure but you can look it up but they're they're getting strict okay they're writing people up they're actually writing people up you know you can look it up so okay if you're uh, you're still traveling okay oh these tips will be just generalized men women you know, whatever, the third sex. Apply, the, apply these things and, you know, go efficiently into the airport. You, you, you're gonna, you know, uh, you're gonna go right through and you're not gonna have a, you're, you're not gonna get hassled so much. You know, pack light, okay, pack light. Meaning, you know, uh, pack everything tight and don't plan on bringing a whole lot of clothes, a whole lot of stuff, okay? I know some foreigners, some foreign uh, people will want some, uh, oh, made in USA kind of thing. We want the Nikes kind of thing. You know, I know this stuff because I'm Filipino, okay? I'm an immigrant that came to the States and got uh, naturalized out here. So, backlight, okay? Bring some souvenirs if you want to bring some, but make it light you know, don't don't uh, don't bring a lot of stuff okay um, next tip is uh, don't fear okay don't be scared when you're traveling don't be acting suspicious because i know you know fear can manipulate you okay fear is another manipulation in this demiurgic realm in the satanic realm okay don't let this uh covid 19 thing uh make you you know, uh, paralyzed because of fear. You know, if you 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 wanted to make that trip, go go ahead and make that trip. You know, the time to uh, book that ticket is now. The tickets are cheap now, but the thing is, you know, it, our situations are different. Okay. My main uh, reason reasoning for traveling myself is to permanently leave the states. Okay, and I am waiting for my second passport. So I couldn't leave without that because I already paid for it. It's like 60 bucks, like, you know, they're just gonna throw it away. You know, they're, they're not gonna issue me a refund if I leave right now. If I leave like this, sure, I can buy a ticket right now. It's cheap as hell. 600 bucks, you know, for a round trip from the, to the Philippines. That's cheap, bro. Because a ticket to the Philippines right now, uh, uh, without this uh, thing going on, you know, a regular price is like a thousand something. It can even go up to like 2000 something, right? So, plane tickets are extra cheap right now because the airlines, the airliners are trying to maintain their, you know, uh, their monetary, uh, how do I say this, their monetary status, okay? So, third, third tip, all right? Third tip is just, you know, whether you're living in the States or, you know, um, anywhere in the world, 
Yeah, just do just do what they tell you, cause man, I mean, do you, do you really want to get a ticket? Like freaking, if you live in Santa Monica, California, they'll give you a thousand dollar ticket if you violate the quarantine regulation. Okay, so I don't want to get a ticket, so you know, I'm just gonna even if you know some of us don't believe that the virus is real. Okay, so even if some of us believe that the virus is real, whether it's real, that's why I told you in my previous video, whether this is true or not. We are subjected to, you know, uh, the rules and regulations of whoever the hell we voted there, you know, uh, our governors, our president, okay, politics. We are subjected to that, whether you believe it or not, whether, you know, whether you're in China, you're Russia, I know it's common sense, but you see what I'm saying? It's because some people would, would get angry, you know, because after. Uh, you find out the truth you're, you're gonna start to become angry and you start to rebel okay with, with anger it comes a rebel rebellion you know with fear you know uh, comes uh, par paralyzation like you, you feel paralyzed you, you know you don't know what to do you're like a deer in the headlights kind of thing but you know uh, once you find out what is true okay just like when I was deployed in uh, Baghdad okay at the first step to, what, to how I felt when I was first uh, fighting the uh, Al Qaeda people, was fear, fear of the unknown. I don't know how to fight them. Okay, I have to learn on the go like this. So I had to learn how to fight them. So you know, you need to apply that thing too. It's like you need to adapt. You know, adapt to what is happening. You know, it, it does really help. You know, thinking as a veteran, thinking like me, like getting the mindset of a veteran. Okay, whether you're living, you know. Here in California, whether you're living in uh, Colorado, in Tennessee, anywhere, you know, uh, in the States, New York, you know, Florida, wherever. You know, be vigilant. That's what it is. Be vigilant. The next, uh, next uh, advice is to be vigilant, especially if you're traveling, okay? So when you're traveling, you watch your things and watch yourself, okay? Security, you need to be responsible for your own security, whether you're a man, you're a woman, you're young or old, if you have kids, you know, educate them properly, tell them, you know, to observe the rules because hey, you don't you don't want to get any um, citations or whatever, like I know it's all about freaking money, man. Politics and business is about money. Whoever has the money has the motherfucking power, you know, so I'm just telling you the truth you know I'm just stating what is factual and what I see in my personal experience when it comes to dealing with politics and business we all deal with them on a daily basis whether you like it or not you know we're subjected to whatever laws or rules by the way uh, the more loss you have L-A-W-S the more loss L-O-S-S that you will accrue as your life goes on you know, so if you live in a blue state tell your governor don't put so much freaking laws out here man like this is freaking ridiculous like a thousand bucks for you know Santa Monica if, if I live in Santa Monica then I'm gonna pay a thousand bucks if I violated the quarantine once okay come on now that's like a whole freaking month's rent and if you're living in uh, one of these high, uh, high cost of living uh, counties out here in uh, California, do a thousand bucks, it's not even gonna pay for rent. You know, it's just like one bedroom or something, man. Just for like one room, you know. So, next step is uh, think minimalistically, okay? Become more efficient. An efficient machine is a simple machine, okay? That is an engineering uh, term. If you ever studied engineering, that's something that they tell you. You know, the, the more complex the machine that you create, the more complex the system that you make, the more inefficient it will be, okay? To simplify, simplify your system or simplify your uh, methods, your, uh, your plans, Okay, step one, step two, step three. Like that, that, that's it, you know. Or step step one and two. So you know, uh, step one, 
you want to travel look up look up the plane tickets now while they're cheap you know step two pack your stuff okay step three you go you know so whether you are actually wanting to travel now while everything is cheap all the tickets are cheap or later okay my last uh, advice would be you know just be patient okay be patient if you're not patient if you're not patient then you know you're gonna have like a three hour delay in the airport if you're already pissed if you're already pissed off then hey the security is watching you see what I'm saying it's a watch what you say because I know some people will go off you know sometimes sometimes they would go off especially if they're moody and especially if you know the truth okay so hold that anger you know uh, channel it towards different uh, outlets in life different productive outlets in life work out you know do some push-ups sit-ups some body uh, body weight exercises which is actually better than uh, better than uh, lifting weights because it's much uh, safer and you're using your own own body okay so whatever exercise you choose at the moment make sure you break a sweat okay and shower after and that's it for this video. Peace out.